Okay, I can see you. So we are ready now to enter the gate. Yeah, it's like um, entering a, a big gate of our soul, if there is such a thing. But just basically five minutes of concentration exercise. So our eyes are closed and our body is really relaxed. Just relax a little bit now, your body, and let just go of whatever tension or worry you are feeling at the moment in your body, in your mind. Just take three deep breaths through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And then I focus my mind on the breath and just try to stay there. Try to keep focusing on the breath. And this is difficult because of the thoughts that arrive. But when the thoughts arrive, just relax about them, let them go by themselves. Because if I don't interfere, my thoughts come and go by themselves. So now you're paying attention to your breath and paying attention to your thoughts that arise every now and then. This is a moment to realize that your mind is watching itself. Your mind is watching your mind. And this is what we call awareness in English, awareness, presence, awareness. So I am aware of my own mind. I'm aware of my own thoughts. This is a unique capacity of humans. We can watch our own minds. But only if we have this awareness. Most of the time during the day in our daily lives, we don't pay so much attention to our own mind. We just think things, we do things, We do make conscious decisions, we make spontaneous decisions, we react, we have feelings. 
but very rarely are we actually aware of the contents of our mind. So this is a moment to do that. It's very difficult not to have thoughts. So when a thought arises, just simply accept it without any judgment. A thought in itself is neither good nor bad, neither positive nor negative. A thought is just a thought that arises. And if I don't engage with this thought, if I don't elaborate on it, it just passes by itself. Because my mind is like the ocean. It's vast. The open and deep. And there can be waves in this ocean. My mind has its energy. Its energy are the thoughts. Just like the energy of the ocean is the waves. And just like waves come and go, thoughts come and go. I simply have to let them come and go. It's thoughts sometimes arise emotions. Emotions are the same. Their energy of our mind, they can come and go. If I relax, maintain awareness of my mind, I can wait until the emotion quiets down. So this is a practice that you can do, often meditate while you're sitting. And your meditation consists of simply observing your own mind, your own thoughts. Whatever arises without getting caught up, without getting engaged, without getting stuck 
on the thought. This is a practice that if you learn well, it's a technique, that if you learn well, you can start using it in your daily life as well. Whenever emotions or Disturbing thoughts arise. Instead of engaging with them too deeply, too much, just relax, wait a little, and let them pass. Of course, it requires this awareness that you have now, even during your daily life. So first, it's a good idea to practice this for a while in a formal sitting meditation like you're doing now. And slowly, slowly, as you get more and more familiar with this technique, it's going to be easier and easier to apply it also in your daily life. so that you too can become that stone that falls into the lake and sinks down to the bottom of the lake and just stays there, calm and relaxed, no matter what's going on above it in the lake or in the external situation around the lake. So the practice consists in becoming that stone, not just when you sit, But every day and every moment of every day, <coughs> okay, now prepare to open your eyes. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> okay, so this was a basic uh, mindfulness uh, meditation that you can do. Uh, <coughs> what you can do with this meditation, if you want to learn this technique, is that you do this a few times listening to me. So you listen to this thing a few times. <coughs> then you stop it and then you keep meditating a little bit more. Okay, you keep meditating for another five, 10 minutes. So this was a, a 10 minute, 13 minute meditation. You can do this and then you stop the videotape and you, you still sit for another five, 10 minutes, okay? And that will help you to familiarize yourself with this technique, okay? And um, like I said, slowly, slowly, you can start using it in your daily life and that's going to help uh, you, it's going to change your life, you know, as simple as that. <laughs> okay. 
Um, now we're going to uh, start the class. Okay, we're going to do some salutations together. Okay, Anjali Mudra, Sanstiti. <clears throat> okay, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, go. <clears throat> Inhale, come forward, head up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, down dog. <clears throat> Inhale, come forward, head up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come forward, head up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. <clears throat> Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Dog. Inhale, come forward, head up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up. Exhale, last time, Uttanasana. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Dog. <clears throat> Inhale, come forward, head up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Samasit. Okay. Now you can turn towards me so that you see what I'm doing, we're gonna open the legs a little bit. We're gonna start doing this um, Kundalini thing and try to remember to exhale through uh, the mouth forcefully, strongly, okay? And we're gonna keep the legs very sort of morbidly, soft, okay? We're gonna do a bit of <coughs> like mola and you start swinging your arms, yeah? Okay, and just strongly exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in. So the breathing is becoming a bit faster now. And then the arms swing a bit higher, in. Okay, so we have to slow down, in, X, in, X. Inhale, exhale, so inhale up, exhale down, yeah? In. Okay, we're working the shoulders. Okay. 
Okay. A few more. Okay. Are we going to stop? Okay. Now we're going to bring the arms out. Okay. And inhale, open up, exhale, embrace yourself. Okay, then inhale, open up, exhale, embrace, change arms. Okay, so let's go. You can also do it a bit faster, but it's not necessary. Focus on the breathing, that's very important. Okay. Okay. Okay, relax your shoulders a little bit. Relax the neck. Okay, let's get our hands like interlace your fingers like this. The right hand is forward, the left hand is behind, okay? Okay. And now I'm going to inhale and Turn to the right, exhale, turn to the left. Okay, I'm gonna do about 20 times. Ten. Fifteen. And twenty. Okay. Gonna stop, relax my shoulders. I'm going to interlace the hands again, this time left hand forward, right hand behind it. I'm going to start on to the left. So I'm going to inhale to the left, exhale forcefully to the right. Okay, about 20 times. Okay, let's go. Keep the legs soft, a little bit flexed. Ten, ten more. And twenty. And I'll stop. Okay. So this was shoulders and the spine. We're gonna go on a little bit. Still open up, okay? You can turn towards me. I'll show it to you to the side though, okay? Stay like, stay where you are, okay? So what we're going to do is interlace our fingers and the index fingers are pointing forward like this. Okay, uh, feet are pointing forward, legs are flexed, okay? So they're soft. I'm gonna inhale, come up, and exhale, go down and bring my arms back behind uh, the legs and look back, okay? I'm gonna exhale forcefully. It looks like this. Okay? Inhale strong and stretch yourself out. Exhale, go down and push your coccyx behind. Okay, that's very important. We're going to do it about 20 times. Ten. Stretch. 
stretch it out. Sixteen. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay. And relax. Okay, last thing for the spine. Okay, we're going to move side to side. Okay, and simply we're going to go. Bring this up, inhale, and exhale to the other side, okay? So, in to the right, X to the left. Try to exhale, forcefully through the mouth. You don't have to exaggerate with this movement, okay? You don't have to go all the way down. Just move the spine a little bit side to side. Okay. Okay, we're gonna stop. Okay, stretch out the spine a little bit, relax. Very good. And then we're going to do it starting to the left, inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Okay, so. Keep the legs flexed a little bit, morbidly soft. Inhale deep, exhale complete. Okay, I didn't count, but more or less. Okay, let's relax out. Again, you can just roll down like a rag doll. Okay, let's come up. Hands on hips. Now we're gonna work the hips, okay? So we're moving. Now we've done shoulders, spine, now it's hips, okay? And simply we're gonna go side to side, okay? Inhale, right, exhale, left. We're gonna do 10 times. See if everything's okay in your hips. This usually brings out any latent problems that you might not even know about. So if you feel any pain, feel any issues there, you just kind of slow down or do less. You can also do a little bit less, you know? But if you have no problem, just push it out. Okay, let's see, we've done, let's say we've done 10, we're gonna stop, we'll start now to the left. I'm gonna inhale left, exhale right, okay? Six. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna go forward and backward with the hips. Okay, so that's going to work the lumbar spine. A little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna inhale forward, exhale backward. Try not 
start to move so much the chest, okay? So try to only move the hips. Uh -huh, very good. Okay, and now we're going to circle. I'm gonna start going to the right, okay? So I'm gonna bring it out to the right, bring it back, bring it to the left, and bring it forward. You can also follow a little bit with your chest so it's a little bit easier. Keep the legs soft and do five circles to the right. So that's moving the ankles, moving the lumbar spine. Okay, now we're gonna go five to the left. Just breathing normally now, okay? We don't have to do that forced exhalation as before. Just moving softly and feeling if everything is okay and just creating a little bit of space in this area. Okay, good. Let's shake it out a little bit now. And finally, we've arrived at the legs and now we're gonna move the legs. Okay, we're going to work the legs a little bit, and that is going to already engage the abdominals. Okay, so when you are working like this, try to keep the legs as straight as possible. Okay, so the way to do that is that you flex your foot. Okay, and you're going to use your abdominals to bring up the leg rather than giving a kick. Uh huh. Okay, so. Like this, I am giving a kick, okay, which is also good. But if I'm doing it slowly, I'm using more the leg muscles and the abdominals, okay? But you can, you can give a little kick if you want, okay? Now we're gonna extend the arms. We're gonna do a big T. Open, um, open your thighs, open your legs, okay? Are we gonna do this? I'm gonna, Inhale, that's very important. The breathing is fundamental. So inhale and exhaling, I'm gonna bring the right hand forward and the left, the left foot up and I have to touch and then come back. Inhale again and go the other side, exhale. Okay, inhale. Okay, good. Let's relax. Okay, now let's stay on our, just root your left foot down on the floor. Keep your body straight. If you want, you can bring your arms back, interlace the fingers, open up the shoulders and Straighten the arms if you want. Concentrate, look towards the ground. Okay, now lift up your right foot. Flex your right foot and go in, X. No, it's too much, too much, too much. You're opening too much. Up to here, okay? Otherwise, what happens is you bring it up and then you have to bend that leg to, to bring it all the way up, okay? So you keep your leg straight and just up to where you arrive, okay? Very good. That's it. Okay. Let's go the other side. Okay, not too high, not too high. Flex this foot. Okay, in, X, in, X. Concentrate, 
concentrate on chest lifting. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So this was a little bit of a hard work. This was a little bit of Kundalini Yoga. Now we're going to do a nice vinyasa and we'll work a little bit on the abdominals and the spine. Okay, so inhale, come up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, head up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Let's stay in Down Dog for a moment. Okay, so now we need to lengthen a little bit after this work that we've done. So we need to lengthen these muscles. Feel your legs, feel your arms, feel your spine. Okay, very good. Now exhale. Put your knees on the floor. Okay, and let's go. Quattro zampe, okay, so on all fours like this. Look forward. Inhale, bring up the right leg parallel to the floor, not too high, and the left arm. Okay, stay here. That's it, very good. A little bit lower that leg. Okay, so it has to be parallel to the floor. Okay. Exhaling, put your left hand down and left, put it down, put it down under the under, under your shoulder and inhale, bring your right arm forward. Right arm forward. That's it. Just breathe now. Very good. Okay, and exhale. Let's put everything down. Okay, bring your hands forward and push your coccyx back and lengthen the spine, open up the scapular region, push your coccyx back, okay, inhale, come up, exhale, chaturanga, Bravo, inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths here, lengthen up. Stretch it out. Exhale, let's go down on all fours again. Look forward towards the floor and inhale, bring your left leg up, right arm forward. Very good, just keep this posture. Flex your foot. Engage your core, very good. Very good. Exhale, bring your right foot and hand down. Inhale, bring your left arm forward. Okay. 
Okay, exhale, let's go down. Floor and back in puppy pose. Stretch it out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Okay, let's work on your abdominals a little bit more. Okay, let's go down, put your knees down again. Put your forearms down. Okay. And we're going to turn to, okay, I'm going to turn to the left. So I'm, I'm leaving my right forearm down on the floor. Okay, I'm going to turn to the left and bring my body in this posture, which is called stick posture. Mm -hmm. Now what we can do here is bring our left hand on the, behind the head, inhale, and exhale, bring the elbow down on the floor. Right here in front of your right hand. Inhale, come back up again. Exhale down. Do it three more times. Slowly. Inhale, come up. Double. Exhale down. Inhale, come up. That's four. Exhale down. The slower, the harder. Last time we're going, inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Okay. Come up again. Release everything and put your, put your hip down on the floor like this. Okay? Bring in your legs like this. And come up like this. Okay? Bring your right hand out, okay, so that your right arm is like straight like this, okay, release the shoulder, this is relaxed here, not, not like this, okay, this arm is here, and the palm is going, looking upwards, okay, and this is what we're going to do, I'm going to inhale, push up, and stretch it out, you can open up the knees if you want, like this, and exhaling, I'm going to calm down again. I'm going to do this four more times. Okay, let's go. You have to come up, stretch it out. Exhale, go down. You got to do this slowly. Three more times. You have to come up. Exhale, down. Two more times. Inhale, come up. Push up that hip. Push it up. Bravo. Exhale down. Last time we're going. Inhale, come up. Stay there for a minute. Not for a minute, for a few breaths. And exhale, come down. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to go back into Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Dog. Stay in dog position and neutralize the body here. So um, this is really good for the spine. 
for the legs, but especially for the spine. Okay. And exhale, we're going down again. We're going to prepare the same posture on the left side. So left forearm down. I get to this point. I bring my hand behind the inhale. Exhale, bring this elbow down on the floor. Inhale, come up again. Exhale down. You have to. Okay, now the, the, the hand is behind the head, like this. Yeah. Okay. That's harder. Okay, very good. Bravo. Okay, three more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Fantastic. Exhale down. Inhale up, last one. Exhale down. Very good. Inhale up and release the posture and just like sit down here, like on the beach, like this. Okay? It's important to prepare the position because that is going to define the success of my exercise. So that is going out there, fingers are open, palms up, bring your chest out, shoulders down, yeah? And then I'm gonna go, inhale, lift up, and then try to bring this hand down, and exhale down. So I stop for a second there, and don't breathe, yeah? There's a little kumbhaka there. Inhale, come up. That's it, fantastic. Exhale down. I'm just watching, I'm not, I'm not practicing. Inhale, come up. One more time, slowly, bravissimo. Exhale down. I can see that this is going so well. We can try this. Inhale, come up. Open up and strengthen, straighten this leg. Exhale down. This is a little bit more work for the spine, if, if it's okay with you. If not, go back to the original. Okay, one more. That's it, fantastic. Exhale down. Okay. I think we've done five. We didn't stop there like the first one, but it's okay. Okay, and now it's time to do the vinyasa. Okay, very good. Um, stretch out those legs. Just breathe, stay present. And then go down in child's pose for five long breaths. Okay, this classic, this one. Classic child pose. Uh huh, relax the shoulders. Lengthen the spine, open up the spine there, the scapula. Five long breaths. Okay, after five breaths, you can decide if you want to do vinyasa and then sit down on the floor or you just want to sit down on the floor directly.
Okay, Pashimottasana. Let's do a classic Pashimottasana. Relax the body a little bit. Okay, you may the hand come up. Good, we're only going to do one exercise here. That is a dynamic exercise again, both for the abdominals and the back. Okay, so I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple, but it requires a little bit of concentration. So I'm starting in this position. Okay, feet are here hands are here next to my hips okay and inhaling i'm gonna lift up my buttocks and push forward in tabletop position and exhaling i'm gonna come down bring my buttocks back lengthen the legs and keep this like this and then inhaling going up again forward exhaling back yeah so the thing is you, you must try to bring up lift up your buttocks as much as much as possible come forward with the chest yeah and then tabletop and then back like this okay let's see how it goes bring your okay very good inhale Exhale down, bring your buttocks back and up. That's it. Back and up. Okay. Inhale forward again. Excellent. Exhale down, back and up. Okay. So do as many as you can. Try to go for five because this is pretty strong. Exhale. Work with the breath. Now, if this is inhale, a little bit of kumbhaka. Exhale, and a little bit of kumbhaka. That's it. Yeah, bravo. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Okay. So here your special challenge is to bring this these buttocks up as much as possible. So, and to bring to bring them up as, as much as possible using the abdominals. Okay. And you can start with five and then move on and do maybe even 10. And that's really useful to, to strengthen the, um, the abdominals. Okay. Now um, what's the time? Okay. We're gonna lie down for a second and stay in uh, baby pose. And then just see how your back feels, your spine, because we worked the spine a little bit. I did not push it very much today, but we did work the spine a lot, it moved a lot, especially at the beginning of the class. So just feel that, like how it feels, like is it stressed or does it hurt or whatever, try to just relax it and, yeah. Now, what you can do here to, relax this area is that you bring your arms out palms are down on the floor you can cross the the ankles and just go down left and right slowly and gently just roll side to side and bring your knees towards the floor or on top of your arms whatever 
Yeah, just rolling, gently rolling and massaging the back. If this is okay, if you feel that this is good for your back, okay? It should, it should be good. Another version of this is that the feet are on the floor and just the knees are moving and the lumbar spine is, is ro rolling on the floor. Then you can bring the legs back. Just relax another moment here. In baby pose, child position. And then if you feel like doing the final postures, candle, plow, and the fish pose. Then you can do these three last poses. Okay, now it's maybe cover yourself if you don't catch cold, you're okay. So just relax now the body and so when we're doing this relaxation yoga nidra exercise, that's a little bit similar to what we did the beginning of the class when you were watching your thoughts and your mind. Now you are watching your body. But obviously, whatever you feel, whatever sensation arises, it arises in the form of maybe also thought, not necessarily, but it could also arise as thought or just as a sensation or a feeling, or even an emotion. So whatever arises, just accept and try to consciously relax whatever is disturbing or creating stress, You can bring your awareness to the part of the body that's touching the floor and perceive the contact between the body and the floor and just stay there with your mind.
just feel the weight of the body on the floor. And connecting to the breath, feel how this weight increases every time you exhale.
so slowly turn to your side 